This is the first in a series of videos on notability. And this video is going to look at how to organize and manage your notes. So we'll look at folders and file management and importing and sharing notes. So notability, when you first open it, it will have uh, no folders there. I've got a few folders there to start with. Uh, but it'll have a welcome folder and it will have a welcome notes and now you can organize your notes into folders and they are called categories and subjects so the ipad beginner is a category and all of these folders here the keyboard and settings and using safari are called subjects and they're arranged within the category ipad beginner so if i tap ipad beginner uh, it closes up and it also shows you that there are three uh, subject folders inside that. So I could open that. I've got three subject folders and in this one, the keyboard, it has two notes inside that folder. So keyboard, and there are two notes inside that one. Uh, so if I wanted to create a new category called iPad Advanced, all that comes from the plus. In this case, I want to add a new category, and it's going to be called I Advanced, and tap Done. Now that has now given me a new category, and then I can create some subjects within that. So again, tapping on the iPad Advanced closes it up, and you can see there's no subjects in there. Think of subjects as also topics. Uh, tapping this one iPad beginner closes it up so it starts to look a little bit more neater but I want to create a new subject underneath iPad advanced so tapping it opens the folder ready to add a new subject so I'm tapping the plus it will create a new subject this time and call it sharing notes or sharing files on the iPad and done and that gives me a new subject it also assigns it a random color which you can change and then within that i can create the note so i'm inside the sharing files i can now create a new note and we'll just call this one a test i'll come back and look at this window in a minute let's call it a test note back to the menu and now we have one note inside the sharing files folder and I can tap on advanced. It will give me a one to indicate there's one folder. If I open the category, I've got one subject and one note inside that subject. Now there are ways to change the color because I don't like that green. It's very hard to read. So if I wanted to change some of the settings there, tap the edit button. And I'm already in the sharing files. So I can tap that cogwheel and I can change the color so tapping here will change the color of that folder so let's make it uh, an orange color i can change the name of it by tapping and holding in the top of the folder there and then i can uh, change the name of that and click done of that subject go back to that so and change the color i can assign a different icon to that folder so perhaps we'll give it a cat i can also password protect it so putting in a, a password and confirming it and setting the password. But that folder now has, you can see there, it's got a padlock. I've given it a different icon. So to add a new subject inside the iPad Advanced, I need to tap on iPad Advanced, tap the plus, it's going to be a subject and give it a name and done. I've got two folders inside iPad Advanced. Tap it to close it up. In iPad Begin, I have three subjects, and in the keyboard, there are two notes. The sharing files subject is password protected. So if I want to actually get into the files into that uh, subject, I need to put the password in. So the padlock indicating it's locked, putting in the password, and done. We'll then open that folder. It's now password. Uh, protected open and I can now go ahead and create another note inside that folder and go back to the, the menus. There's now two notes inside sharing files on the iPad. 
I can close them up and they, they start to look a little bit more neater. There's three categories. iPad Beginner has three subject folders inside it. iPad Advanced has two subject folders. Android Devices has no subjects, but it's the currently selected folder because it's open. Uh, you can just expand them by tapping on them and expand them all. To delete a note, all you've got to do is swipe from right to left till the delete button comes up. Tap delete. And then you get a, a, a chance to back out, delete that note. The same goes for folders. If I wanted to delete a subject folder or a category, so Android devices, I don't want that. I'm swiping from right to left and I'll delete that category. Now everything inside that category is also gone. So for paperless, there's a note inside that that perhaps I want to keep. So I could move that note to a different folder before I delete the paperless folder. So to do that, to move a note or move, uh, move a note to a different folder, edit button, select the note, just tapping on it, and then hold it down and drag it into a different one. So I'm going to put it into the keyboard. And you can now see paperless has nothing. There's no notes in there at all. We'll just hit done first. Paperless has now got zero notes. The keyboard has now got an extra one. So tapping into keyboard is the test note that I just moved. And now I can go back to paperless, swipe from right to left, and delete it. And that folder is gone. Everything inside that folder is also going to go as well. To move folders around, uh, I can hit the edit. And then using the handles, the grab handles, holding onto that, I can move them up and down into a different position within the category. So I'm not moving using Safari into a different category. If I can, move them back and forward until you get them into the right place and then done. Now you can also move them to the trash as well. So I can hit done and hold that one down and hit the trash. And that's going to delete three notes inside the keyboard. So it's not too difficult to create yourself a folder structure and organize your notes logically. To sort and filter your notes, perhaps within a section, you can use this sorting button up here. So I'm inside the keyboard subject folder, and I've got these options to actually sort the notes within that uh, subject folder. And as you get more and more, there's only three at the moment, but as you get quite a lot, you need to find a way of actually finding specific notes. And this one is, is organized by name, sort by name. I can change that to sort by the, the modified date and it'll move the uh, notes around according to which ones you want to change. And then you can also search for notes, search by its content or search by a title as well in order to find your notes. Um, now there are some other options here that we'll explore before we actually start to look at the note window and the toolbars. At the bottom here is the settings. And you can select a theme for your basic notes. I think the basic uh, default one is colourful. So you've got a different couple of themes to choose from. So I pick that and it will change it done. It changes the, the background, the colours. So again, personal choice how you want that. So I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, default paper. So you have the chance to have just plain paper, or you can have some sort of textured paper, or lined paper, different thicknesses of lines, graph paper lines. This one, the, the one I'm using now is just plain white. Uh, the different font settings, body font, caption and title font. So if I tap that, it can uh, give me a different font. So I might want to have my body font is all going to be noteworthy, and I want that to be blue, and I want it to be smaller size 20. So you can make your default fonts there. So same with captions and titles, changing the fonts there. The cloud services, there is um, a very good opportunity and notability to share your notes to the cloud like Dropbox and Windows, SkyDrive, Google Drive and Box and import uh, documents from those same cloud services. So in the settings, this is where you actually set that up. So you can set, you can um, log into your different cloud services and 
when you then go to export or import, that's already done. So in order to do that, you have to have an account with all those cloud services, but all you need is an email address to do that. Go back to settings. Uh, left-handed mode. So if you turn left-handed mode on and then go done, when you actually go into create new notes, and what it does is put the toolbar now at the bottom of the screen and the wrist guard up here at the top, if you accidentally turn that on and you wonder why your wrist guard and your toolbars are all back the front, it's because you're in left-handed mode. Default note title, so this is the, the, the base note name. It's going to be note, and I could, could change that to, to call it test note, anything just to show a difference. Uh, and it's asking you, do you want to add, add the note, the date to note titles and the time to note titles? And I've said turn that off, but let's turn it on. There's an example of what the notes will look every time you create a new one. So if we go back and hit done and create a new note, there's the default the title at the top there. And they're all going to look like that. So you can come up with your own uh, naming scheme. The menu will get you back. Back to settings. Um, tap anywhere to start typing. Tap and hold to start Zoom writing. There's a, there's a few settings here you need to, to, to think about. Auto sync is the other one. If you want your notes to be synchronized automatically to one of the cloud services, so if I do a note, in this case mine is going to be synchronized to Dropbox automatically in PDF format. So I've got a backup up in the cloud and that's usually off. The sync's disabled. That's how it comes as the default. It's disabled and it's not going to work. So I would like my notes to be automatically synchronized. I want them to go into Dropbox. And then I have to select what folder do I want them to go in. So in my Dropbox folder, I've already set up a folder called Notability Syncs. I want them to go into there. I want to sync to Notability Syncs. Uh, all my notes as PDFs. And it will give me down there the, the different folders that I want, the subject folders that I want to actually sync the notes from. I want all of the notes from the uh, folders, subject folders that I've set up to be synchronized up to Dropbox. Uh, up here is the sharing. So let's just select a note for sharing. So I have uh, in the keyboard, there are four notes. I want this note here, which is not, it's got a bit of doodling on it at the moment. So I need to go to sharing, select the note, and this is the note I want to share and send it to Google Drive. And I want this note, which is just handwritten notes and some type notes, to be sent to Google Drive as a PDF document. And if I was doing some audio recording, I could send the recording, the audio, and the actual note itself separately. But I want this to be as a PDF. I want it to be a PDF. I can send it as a rich text file or just the, 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 the raw note. And if you send the raw note, the only way you're going to be able to play that note and look at that note is taking, getting it back into Google Drive. So for me, it's just like a PDF backup of those notes. And I can select the folder that I want the note to go into, into Google Drive. Um, the only folder I've got is Photos, so I'll stick it into Photos and Export. So that note, go back. This note is now being shared to Google Drive. Send it to Google Drive. And you can see it's working there. It's gone into uh, the cloud. So if I go back out of this and into my Google Drive, that note should be sitting up there in the Photos folder. There it is there as a PDF. And there's nothing much in it because it's just a test note. But it's there as a backup. And that is a very good way of exporting your notes to the cloud. You just have to set up your cloud services first. So these are the destinations. Let's just pick a note, go into destinations. You can email the note to yourself as a PDF, or you can email the audio recording. And you've got your cloud services, Dropbox, Google Drive, and Box. Uh, you can print it if you had a printer connected. So if I wanted to print that note, um, I want to print it to paper. I uh, would need to have a printer connected. I won't go through that. You can send it to iTunes. You can open it in another app. Uh, and I want the paper. And I want to open the note in. And any of the apps installed on my iPad that can 
handle PDF files will be become available. So I've got all these different apps that I could save this note into, share it to. So that's your sharing button. You select the note you want to share. Sharing button, select the note, tap it again and locate the destination that you want to send it to. Now the other button up here is an import one. So say I have a PDF document that I've got in my Google Drive that I want to import into Notability to annotate it, to edit it. I want to import it, download it from Google Drive, from the cloud, onto my iPad. So I'm going to select the import button and I want to take it from Google Drive. And because in the settings I've already connected Notability to Google Drive, it knows all those settings. And so I want this file to be downloaded. So I'm going to import that note into Notability. And I can actually add it to an existing note or I can create a new note with that document. So let's create a new one. And I can then decide, do I want the whole three pages of that document that's in Google Drive or do I just want one page? So I'm just going to take one page and done. And then import one page of that document, which is this one. Medication is the, it's, let's just erase that. It's imported it into, go back, into the keyboard because that's where I was when I started this importing. I'm in the keyboard folder. You can see that because the green is up here. So wherever you are in one of your folders where you initiate an action, so I've initiated an import action, it's going to import it into the keyboard folder. There's the file there. Medication is the key. So I can open that and using the tools up here, which we'll look at shortly. My uh, handwritten one, I can write over it. I can highlight it, change, change different colors. I can do notes on it and do whatever I want to with it. And save that as a note and then send it back to Google Drive using the share button. If it was in the wrong place, so medication in the key uh, is the key. And I want to move that. I'm going to edit, uh, hold that note down. And I think it's in the wrong place. I'm going to move it into a different folder. So it's now gone from the keyboard and it's now and hit done. It's now in the, using the Safari folder. So you can move your notes around. There's some help down here. The question mark will give you some basic help. So if you're not quite sure how to organize your notes, sorting them, moving them, it gives you some instructions how to do it there.